Um, delivering the design bikes. Welcome everyone to PBS 2024 and our ninth annual design bike competition. I'll cue it. Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind. I hope you're excited to see what new and innovative product, product, sorry, product each of our brands will be showcasing today. I know I am. This is actually my first design bike. I've never even experienced this competition, so the idea we hope to get. I'm over the moon. Uh, before we get started, I'll explain how this event is going to work. We have 10, 10 competing brands who are here with us today, and each brand will take turns joining the up on the stage to pitch their most exciting product. It's like Shark Tank in your face. Each brand representative will have three minutes to pitch, followed by two minutes of question and answer for our judges panel. And speaking of, let me introduce our esteemed panel of judges. Welcome to the stage, Danielle Blundell, Executive Home Director of Apartment Therapy.
quick and quick and quick. 20% less cook time. No preheat, right? I'm a dad now. I'm a father of a three-year-old. I don't have time for preheat. When she wants brownies, she wants them now. Um, 22 minutes, I can cook a batch of brownies in here. In a traditional 30-inch oven, I can get three batches out of here before I preheat my 30-inch oven, right? So, in addition, we've given you an airframe modality on the freestanding unit. This is equipped with multiple cook modalities. You have a bake element, a convection element, a broil element, and then you have a magnetron giving you some microwaves. When you couple all of those together, you get the speed cook technology that we are giving. Uh, it's pretty amazing. The interface, picture oriented, full of auto cook preset recipes. I'm working with my daughter right now. I told you I have a three year old. We work in the kitchen every day together. I could see her very easily cooking her own dinner on this in a couple months. <laughs> I get one of these installed under counter. Team, thank you. She can walk up and push the picture of the pork chop and cook her own pork chop. How great would that be? So thank you everyone. Please come by our booth, Signature Kitchen Suite and LG West 2343 and come see one of these. I'm cooking in these live. I'll mix you up a batch of my brownies and you can see how fast they actually cook. So come and see us, West 2343, and please vote for this video. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Judges, do you have any questions for our friend Nick here? First of all, good bribery with the brownies. Good bribery. I do. My question is, two questions. So, the size of it. Can it, is it something that has to be installed in a new construction? Can it be retrofitted? Is it standard sizing? Does, is it going to match the size of another built-in wall oven that we have in our client's homes? Or so it's a, it's a 30 by 13 and a half. Uh, yeah, so and we've, the single, we now have on 110 power, which makes the install. So you can get in-wall install or under counter, which is the versatility of the single. So no special wiring. No, no. Okay, and then can you change the handle ones or not? Or can, is it customizable as far as like any sort of Good cool? question. And that, that, that actually loads me into talking about another appliance. So on the single, currently the handle is the handle. However, if you come by the booth, we have a whole line of transitional wall ovens with a much more modern look. We have a transitional combination wall oven that's a 30 inch oven on the bottom and a speed oven on top, but it has a transitional handle. So there's a version, but you can't swap this one out. Okay. Make sense? Right. Any more? I have a question for you. Yes, how did you do this? Like, how is there no preheat? I feel like half the time when I want to eat something, I'm like not even hungry by the time I'm able to put it in. So that's the thing, and I say it all the time. A frozen pizza takes 15 minutes to cook. The preheat's 35 minutes. I'm over it by the time. Like me and Nora, I found something else to do or something else to eat. So I, that's what I really love about it. The way we do it is with this combined modality, right? You have your bake element, your broil element, convection, and then you have the magnetron swirling microwaves around. Also, the carousel that you put the food on rotates. So the combination of all of those modalities allows you the no preheat. And yes, we do call it a game changer for the home kitchen. Sounds like a game changer, yeah. It, it, love that. Thank you so much. Once again, come see us in the booth. Thank you, Nick. If you don't vote for me and our beautiful speed of it, my colleague Sandro from LG will be presenting a great piece of laundry next, and you should vote for him too. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Nick, for that lively presentation. I didn't get a brownie, but I won't hold it against you. I won't do it. I'd like to bring to the stage Barry Jacobs, Senior Vice President of Product and E-Commerce at FGI Industries. Welcome. So, hello everyone. Uh, as you just heard, I am Barry Jacobs. I head up the product team at FGI Industries. And unfortunately, I have no brownies to hand on. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I am excited to be here talking about our new flush guard toilets. And that's what I'll be interested in. I'd like to start with a question. Uh, if I can see a show of hands, who here has had the pleasure of dealing with a toilet overflow? Oh my god, that's more than I thought. Okay, a lot of hands. Well, you're not alone. It turns out that two-thirds of people have had a toilet overflow. 
and half of those people actually had some damage from it that had to be repaired. So it's really not a surprise that most people feel some anxiety when they clog the toilet and they see that water starting to rise. I mean, you don't know, will it stop, will it not stop? Well, it turns out that that anxiety actually has a name. It's called overflowia. <laughs> this, no, this is real. You can look it up afterwards, it's real. Uh, but fortunately, now there's a cure for overflowia. It's our new flush guard anti-overflow toilets. Flush guard toilets have patented overflow protection built right in. Those three holes are connected to a separate overflow drain that bypasses the main drain. So this means that your toilet will still drain even when it's clogged. It also means that there could be some yucky stuff going down with that overflow drain. So cleaning is critical. But don't worry, because the overflow drain is connected directly to the flush system. And this means it's completely rinsed out every flush. And what about installation? Is anything special required to install it? Well, absolutely not. The main drain and the overflow drain exit right next to each other directly into the standard sewer pipe that everybody already has under their toilet. So actually, flush guard toilets install exactly like regular toilets nothing special required. We're launching FlushGuard on our crafted main brand of toilets, and you'll be able to find them starting this April. They'll be available online at depot.com, bose.com, build.com, and then mid-year, we're offering FlushGuard on our contract brand commercial toilets. Contract brand is already well established in Canada, and we're launching it this year in the U.S. market. Then towards the end of the year, you'll find flush guard on various toilet brands at places like Menards, HD Supply, and many others. So finally, with flush guard, you can go in peace. <laughs> There will be both a 1.28 gallon version available and a ultra high efficiency 0.8 gallon version available. They're already certified, they're already in production, uh, and they work great. Uh, well, kudos to your marketing team for launching an anti overflow toilet in a city known for its buffets. I think that's amazing. <laughs> so good for you there. <laughs> I think that's great. Uh, but my question, uh, my legitimate question is. Is there, I think it's a two-piece design, right? Is there plans for a one-piece design? Absolutely. Oh, yes. The, the initial models are very practical. They're meant to be mainstream. We're making sure this is within reach for you know everybody who wants it. But we'll be launching one-piece models, skirted models, uh, on and on. I would say within three years, you'll see a fully fleshed out product as well. Fleshed out. And then what price point are we talking about? So initially, the price point is around $150 to $170. Uh, again, we're trying to keep this in the mainstream so that regular people can afford it. Watch that. Good job. <laughs> I love the price point. Thank you, Barry. All right, great. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, Jennifer Ramirez, are you ready? Okay, to the stage is Jennifer. Ramirez, the marketing, media and marketing specialist from Impapa. Welcome. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Jenny from Impapa. So at Impapa, we define ourselves as streamers and innovators constantly on the hunt for meaningful improvements in our home appliances. We capture, identify, and address even the most minor issues that homeowners might face and transform them into something beautiful. That beauty can be captured in our newest innovative series, our 36 inch induction range. In, in, this is the industry's first 4,000 watt central heating zone certified for residential use. So the central heating zone can be powered all the way up to 4,000 watts for that yummy tasty stir fry on power boost mode. And the outer burners can also be 
powered as low as 400 watts for that really delicate simmer for whenever you're craving milk and chocolate.
that catches the light so beautifully and truly transforms your faucet into a piece of jewelry for your kitchen space. And we worked really hard with our engineers to refine those grooves so they're deep enough to sparkle in every finish, but they're still shallow enough to be super easy to shoot clean. So we've also used the principles of balance and repetition. You can see the wand form is beautifully repeated in the faucet body. We've used the rule of thirds throughout, and all those crisp step bands repeat the same dimensions to create visual harmony. So Smith will be launching in four beautiful finishes, including our luscious new bronze gold, which we love because we know designers love the fact that it's slightly more desaturated, so it does a great job pairing with other gold tones throughout the kitchen space. But we'll also be launching in matte black, polished nickel, and spot resist stains. And at home, you don't need to sacrifice style for functionality, which is why Smith will be available in a range of different platforms to meet different user needs and preferences. From our mechanical pull-down to our prep size pull-down, all the way up to our smart pull-down, uh, which will also feature voice control and will seamlessly pair with the rest of our smart water network for additional home water monitoring benefits, water conservation features, for as ease of mind. We believe that the passion our team has poured into this new collection will live on in each individual Smith faucet and will truly elevate the end user's experience with water, our most precious resource. We invite you to visit our booth at N2605 to learn more. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. I, too, am a wrong skip to say it. I know, I was thinking that, but we kind of were destined to share the stage today. So, <laughs> did you have any questions for Jesse? Yeah, so love the fluting, love the elongated neck. Um, I'm a total vintage girly, I guess, um, for lack of a better word. My question here is, will the new bronze finish be a living finish, or is it, has it taken all the pain points out of a lacquer brass? It is not a living finish. So oh, we will maintain that finish for you. And when you visit the booth, you can see that we've also expanded that finish to our coordinated traditional complementary pieces, our sip, our sip filtration faucet, the soap faucet, and the pop filler. So we do have that full, you know, kitchen space worked out with that finish. Music to my ears. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I love that you told a story behind it because I feel like as designers, you know, we're on the front line selling your products yes. to our clients, right? So we have to have a story sometimes to sell your products to our clients. So that kudos to you guys. First of all, on a beautiful product, but second of all, on giving us something to relay oh, to our clients, right? Yes. So that is great. I love that we have classical design in it as well. Functionality-wise, on the pull-down, that's something that my clients ask about all the time. How yeah. how how do you feel about that? Is it, is it smooth? Is it, is it, is it very functional? Um, yeah. Most of my clients want to touch and feel and use that pull down, and yeah, you know, they're so. very particular about that. For sure, that's a great question. So we've worked really hard also with our engineers because it's the first time that we've released that U-shaped spout. Um, and typically, you know, our all of our programs feature that amazing reflux technology. So when you let go of the faucet, it's gonna, you know, come right back into place. We'll never have like a dangling faucet for Cohen. So, um, but we had to refine it to make sure that was still going to be just as smooth with those two vents. So actually the radius of those curves is the same radius as our, like, fully J spout um, curves, but we just kind of elongated a little bit more, added a piece of, you know, a, a straight line there. So it's going to perform exactly the same as any other mode faucet pull down. Thank you, Jesse. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, Tim, good check. How's everybody doing? Okay, this is fun, right? It takes a lot of courage to get up here and present to us. Designers are tough. <laughs> Next, I would love to bring to the stage Mr. Daniel Sanchez, the CEO of Neolith America and Group CCO. Welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, as you must probably know, there is increasing uh, concern in uh, the world about the rise of single spaces. Basically, sectors that are related and handle uh, quartz conglomerates as well as this demand is not easy in the past, okay, when it's been fabricated. Immediately we have been very committed to 
protect what is more important in a production chain, which is the uh, By implementing uh, measures to prevent and to minimize the risk of exposure to protect them. In the last years, we have been working, constantly working on developing a product. And right now, we can say that Neolin has the lowest silica content seated product slab in the market. Uh, and not only that, this year in January, we launched in Australia already the first two products without, without silica, with 0% silica content. That will be released, by the way, in the United States, including this year. But let's just start with the basics, because this is a bit you know, complex. But what is crystalline silica? Crystalline silica is, is what is 50% of the earth crust is uh, silica. In three types of, uh, of uh, types, let's call it like quartz, that is the most, most common one, the one that we all know, then crystallite and trinite. And by the way, you know, these minerals have been used in many industries, you know, to produce products such as bricks, mortars, ceramics, etc. But here's the point. Systematic inhalation of silica dust can lead to silicosis, can cause silicosis, which at the same time, as you all know, can lead to cancer. So what we have been doing in early, and this chart explains very well what we are positioned in terms of silica content, is to be, as I was saying before, the lowest in the industry when we talk about surfaces. 50 at uh, 95% uh, silica contained from quartz sites, quartz compacts, 50 to 95, 3%, slate, 15, 35% for granite, 15, 30% uh, for phosphates, and plus minus 5% for marbles. Just to let you know that one of our best selling collections, that is the glass stone, which is all white, white marble looking colors, they are only 2%, so we are even lower than marbles and than natural marbles. So please, Come and visit us in our booth. We are in North Pavilion. We are at booth 2549. Uh, and, you know, try to meet what we call Neolit for a new era. Plastic free, resin free, silica free, and carbon neutrality. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you for bringing this to the light of day, first of all, because I think it's a huge problem in our industry that many people aren't addressing, and because I think we want to shy away from the, you know, the dirty side of those things, and it's just a very serious thing. Uh, most of our clients sometimes don't even realize this is happening, right? They don't even think about that side of the industry. They see only the decorative side of it. So on that note, tell me about the decorative. Are we limited on our choices when it comes to the decorative items that we can choose, the patterns, the materials, that sort of thing, when we're presenting to clients in this realm of your new era? Okay. Just to make sure that you understand, the dust is only exposed to workers when it's being fabricated, when it's being done. Okay? What we are presenting here is something that is protecting the whole you know, process. From the workers that are in the fabrication shop cutting the product, but as well bringing to the to the customers, you know, that's that feeling of you know being also part of the solution of the problem. This is a problem that we have to approach as soon as possible, and when we are stepping the performance that Cinderstone is offering and Leonid is offering, I think that we are being the perfect solution of for the decorative request on it as a designer one. It's really, it's really points as well as a final work job that, that I really love. You know, that our, our company is it's all about like, innovation, sustainability products, and, and uh, I am also pointing, that, in fact, I use the old, so I am here by But what I wanted to, to know is besides the decorative part, that the, the part of us, our architects and designers, is misinfying this product. How do, how do we make our clients, maybe that's like a follow-up to your question, uh, to sell that, that this is also beautiful. You know, like, because the, most of us really like to specify natural, natural products. And, you know,
know, I've been you know, through my years, I've been trying to transition my clients to be more, you know, conscious about it. Can you tell me how, how we can help our clients? Then we only have a few seconds left. Okay. Okay. Anyway. So I always say the same to you. This is the perfect choice for those ones that love the natural stock. This is a 100% natural product that you know that in our factory we will try to bring this the aesthetic of natural stock with the most, you know, uh, uh, let's let's call it the best in class, you know, performance, okay, because it's scratch, you know, porosity, etc. And you know, when we talk about sustainability, it's exactly the same as you know what we are talking about. We have had to take care of the whole chain, okay? And this product is bringing you know the new era of sustainable products, anti-sustainable products that can be a good alternative to that stock. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. It's the epitome of walk softly and carry a big stick. That was great information. That was fantastic. Um, next up, my old friend, we like, man, we go back to yesterday rehearsal, right? <laughs> Please welcome Sandra. I'm sorry, I have lost. I can't find it. I think I'm a little, I'm a little okay. further around here. Ah, Sandra Ledesma. Sorry about that. Thank Hi, you so thank much. Senior Manager of Product Management for LG Electronics. All right. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. So, I want to start with a question. Have you ever forgotten about your laundry in the washer? You've forgotten it for so long that it starts to have a weird smell that you have to run the wash again? Well, for all of you out there who remain, I'm sure you guys are shy to answer. Yes, all of you. There's a hero waiting to stay with you. LG's wash combo of one washer and dryer. LG's wash combo hosts clean, fresh, and dry clothes in under two hours. Yes, that's wash and dry with no load transfer. The streamlined two in one design takes energy efficient performance for laundry to the next level. And at five cubic feet, it is the largest all in one washer and dryer in the this wash combo helps to bring sustainability to your home, saving not just time, but also money. Integrated with LG's heat pump technology, this ventless model will consume up to 60% less energy than conventional washers and dryers. But that's not all. The intuitive LCD dial makes it easy to load, set, and go in a lot less steps than conventional washers and dryers control panels. LG is making the chore of doing laundry feel like a walk in the park. Okay, maybe not as enjoyable. We walked all the way to the West Pole here, felt like it was 25 miles. But who wouldn't love a new design for a lint filter that makes maintaining your appliance task free? We've also taken the guesswork out of measuring detergent. Why add that step? The easy dispense feature will automatically dispense just the right amount of detergent for every. Speaking of maintenance, the LG Wash Combo comes with an auto cleaning condenser because most of us don't know that you actually have to clean that. Now, with all these great features, I wanted to take the best for last. This 27 inch wide wash combo doesn't take up a lot of room. It can go anywhere if you have a 120 volt and the water. You can carry your wash combo in space safe and benefit, such as a nitric washer. Had a school riser, ADA compatibility with an ADA riser as well. <sighs> Finally, it can go under the stairs, in the bathroom, in the hallway. The opportunities are endless. LG's wash combo checks about every box on your laundry checklist. So, what does this machine do? It doesn't fold your laundry yet. <laughs> I don't know when we're going to do that, but that's probably down the road, but we are trying to make it easy and seamless to do laundry every day. And if you guys make the trek all the way to the West Hall, we are at W2343, and you can learn more about the wash combo, how we can get it done in one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Danielle, your name is Dr. Joe. I mean, because I feel like I've been in laundry in New York City for so long that this feels like a true game changer. I keep using that word, but man. Um, I was going to ask if it could fold my laundry, but you answered that question already. My question is, though, and I think you might have mentioned this too, I just want clarification. You can just plug this into any old outlet, the wattage is such that that just that's amazing. Yeah, it's a 120 volt regular plug, not a three prong or four prong. Okay, great. So you can go anywhere in the home upstairs. Why go downstairs? Next to your room. Exactly. Thank you. First of all, thank you for not making it white. I'm really appreciative of that. Uh, second of all, uh, it, I mean, it sounds amazing. I love all the like kind of plug and play, but still the plumbing requirements are still the same, right? right. So still the hot, cold water connections and then the drain into the sink the same sort of drainage connections as a typical washer. That's correct. Right. Yeah, that's to drain out the water as well, but that's what kind of cleans the condenser. And yeah, that has to be used for the heat. Um, and yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot more cost effective than having a bed. So retrofitting would be a bit of a concern. You could really retrofit this into a situation as far as like, bringing it into a room that doesn't have plumbing, right? right. Still be okay. Okay. Next to the bathroom, maybe. Okay, just making sure. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Paging John Rowan to the stage. John is the founder of Link Built-in Cutting Boards. Welcome. Hello, everybody. I am John Rowan, and I'm the creator of the Link Built-in Cutting Board. The cutting board really is designed to add a workstation-style cutting board to your underground sink. So when I started out, on this project, I learned quickly that the cutting board wasn't just important to me. In fact, if I ask people to raise their hands who has a cutting board, it's going to be unanimous, right? We all have a cutting board. The Washington Post did an article just in December of last year, and they asked people, what's the most important items you have in the kitchen? And the number two was the cutting board, just slightly beat out by the spatula. But obviously, I knew building in a spatula didn't make any sense, but building in a cutting board did. Adding a functional design element to our kitchen made sense. But doing this, I wanted to make it better. So the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to make it stable. I wanted to make it so it wasn't moving around. That my grandkids, if they're visiting, they're not going to pull the cutting board off on everything on top of them down on the ground. It's not going to move around when I'm prepping a meal, when I'm doing a project. I wanted to make it so it was out and available, ready to use, it wasn't tucked in a drawer or behind a cookie jar. It was out when I had the inspiration to cook. Finally, I wanted to use new design technology, everything that I had, everything that we know to minimize bacterial growth so we make it a safe and clean environment. And lastly, we wanted to make it so we, weren't, we were not blocking the kitchen sink. That's the challenge. We love our workstation sinks, but when we're working them, we're standing in front of them, so we're blocking them. So we wanted to get it out of that workstation sink. We did it by our pet pending mounts. So this mount is a dual mount system. We're very excited to introduce it. The first part of the mount is a lock. So it locks that cutting board in place so it can't move any direction but straight up. The second part of the mount builds a quarter inch chamber of air underneath the cutting board so there's always airflow so the moisture can't collect and it makes a non-friendly environment for bacteria. Plus, we use a PDE coating on the tray to keep bacteria from growing as well. Next, where are we gonna install it? We're gonna install it next to the kitchen sink where it makes the most sense where we need it. You can use all your standard cookware. We don't need special attachments, but it will work with our favorite undermount state workstation style attachments as well. But now, when you're cooking, you're not blocking and standing in front of your sink like you do with workstation style sink. You're standing to the side, so your sink is free to use and it's no longer a one person kitchen. Now your sink is unlimited. We are introducing you to show several varieties of boards from decoration boards to uh, different sizes and different finishes. And we're also testing cadence nominations, so we're very excited for that. We are over in the Kickstarter section, so come to CSD 007 and see what all the excitement is about. Thank you. Hey, that's it. Hey. Thank you, thank you. This is like like a, like we're in a candy store when you look at this. I know. They're not that big in real life, I promise. All right, okay. <laughs> well, you basically answered one of my questions is 
what's the waiting rain for antibacterial, and I love that. And I really, really love because I, I was worried about it. But I wanted to know how, you know, we need to rely on products that are really easy for us to specify. And I really, more really want to do this. Yeah. How are you planning to work with installers? Do you have a process of connecting with them? To them? No, like, yeah. kind of create this right. um, our lives easier? Right, so good question. So it installs during the installation process, just like when somebody's installing a sink. It comes with a template, so when it's ordered, the template, just like a sink comes with a template, it's given to the installer, they cut it out, and they install it on the site. Now, the cool thing about this product is the mount is a retrofit design, which opens up great possibilities, because if you're remodeling the kitchen, and you've already done a sink, you've already done the countertop, but you want to add this, we can. A fabricator can add it any time after the fact. That's clever. Yes. I mean, I wonder, congratulations on this. I really like it. Thank you. One minute, judges. Okay, well, I'm going to be fast. I'm seeing a couple different types of materials here, which I love. Love having options. I want to talk a little bit about the cleanability and maintenance of the actual boards. Are they dishwasher safe? Like, do they need to be treated the way normal boards do? Is it just sort of the status quo there? Yeah, good question. So, cutting boards in general, you're right. Cutting boards should never be placed in a dishwasher. But we do have <laughs> options and varieties. So, we have HDPE, which is a, uh, a dishwasher safe material. It's a high density polyurethane. It's food safe. We put it on plants that have boats. We put it on some of those outdoor kitchens and things like that where it can handle the outdoor. The wood products, the resin products, the walnut. We've got a ton of variety. Yeah, don't put it in a dishwasher. Don't do that with any kind of boards. Don't put it in a dishwasher. Man. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Next, we have Nikki Graham, Creative Director of Keeler Brass Company. Uh, collection and 
it. And she said, hey, I want to present it with two options. So we can go in and add another style, and then you've got more than one design in your style portfolio. So you pair that, you take this to your client, you take your toolkit to your client, and you're able to present in a way that you can experience for that client versus taking hardware off the wall. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Thank you. Questions about this customization? It's very cool. <laughs> really cool. Uh, oh, I love the presentation and everything. Do you have, there's more models available about this, like sizes? Absolutely. Models. Absolutely. We've got the um, configurator on live. It's live at our booth. We're 2565 in the West Hall, so we're over there by Monogram. Um, so you can kind of experience it. You can see the actual brass pieces and the new launches and the new leathers that we're doing. Uh, but it's such a cool. You know, I, I tested this at every level because I'm a designer and done a whole lot. So to be able to have a tool that I can critique and I can say this is how we need to change and we need to do this because this makes my job easier. It's a really it's good that companies finally listen to the voice of the designer in making their product and stuff. Thank you. I love the configurator part of it. I have fun playing around. I <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've used your products before, but again, you're our salesperson and we're your salesperson to our clients, right? So if you were to pinpoint one thing to us as designers that we would use to sell your products to our clients versus all the grab and go hardware that's out there, what would you say that would be? It's, it's the toolkit and the configurator. When you, if you, when you can present an experience, everything in our world right now is about the experience. Hardware, you know, pick off the wall, you order a sample, you drop it in the box. And your onesie, twosie, she might like it and she might not. If you presented an experience where you put the thought and you curated her collection or their collection specifically for them, out of the 30,000 possible combinations, this is what I chose for you, it makes them feel very special. It's like they go, this is my personal hardware. Nobody's got this thing. Well, you did this for me. So I think that gives you an edge in selling your pockets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Next, we'll have Jake Flatley, CEO and founder of Free Power. I was, uh, I haven't been this nervous since I went on Shark Tank two years ago. Uh, so, uh, Jake Flatley, CEO and founder of Free Power, uh, and we're turning everyday surfaces into wireless chargers. And so, what we do is we integrate the wireless charger beneath the surface, and it integrates without a trace, other than the subtle glow that you see. It. Uh, right there, we call that the charging halo. And the charging halo is the indicator of where to place your devices uh, so you know where to charge. Um, we are launching the technology, we actually launched the technology today here at Davis, Free Power for Countertop. Uh, we couldn't be more excited about that, and we couldn't be more honored to have received, uh, been named a Best of Cavis finalist in three categories game changing innovation, style safe in kitchen, and best in show. And so you can imagine in your kitchen cooking, doing the dishes, eating, uh, and your phone's charging, or in your bathroom, uh, getting ready for the day or at night, and your phone's charging. But not just in these places, it can go anywhere. In bars, in restaurants, uh, really anywhere throughout your life that you put a phone on the table is a service that should have free power. Uh, we're working with great partners, uh, like Taylor Morrison, Marriott, to name a few. In fact, we have a beautiful Leish kitchen in our booth in the North Hall, and I hope you all can see that. Uh, but if we get the tech into all these surfaces, the result is never thinking about charging again, and that's what we're after. With Free Power, you're in control. There's a mobile app that controls the color of the halo, the brightness as well, and my personal favorite feature is a feature called Wait to Wait. And so if you don't always want the glow on, you can turn it off, uh, and so the countertop is completely stealth. Uh, no trace of the tech, and when you wave your phone over, it lights up, and it's really an incredible experience. It's so cool. It almost feels like magic, honestly, and I hope you all can get out to our booth to see that. So I'm sure you're wondering how does this integrate. Uh, so it's three simple steps. You design, fabricate, and install. Uh, when it comes to design, you want to choose ergonomic locations throughout the space, so it becomes very, it's very usable and functional. Uh, for, from a fabrication standpoint, it's standard fabrication equipment. 
And so any fabricator who can cut a sink can install this technology. And as far as installation on site, it just has a few minutes to the standard countertop install process. Uh, and so very straightforward, three simple steps. And so that's free power. Uh, we hope you all look to integrate it into your future projects. We are in booth N1374 in the North Hall, uh, but we're really just, we're right behind Cambria and Cosentino. So if you walk in, you see that, you walk right past and you find us. Uh, but we have 230 patent assets, all de developed in-house by our team from the ground up. Uh, we have a five-year warranty. We know how important lasting tech in your countertop is, or lasting anything in your countertop is. Um, the tech was launched last year with Tesla, so we're really proud of that. And with your help, we can get one step closer to accomplishing our mission, which is bringing power to every surface, so you never think about charging again. Thank you. Thank you, Jake. That was perfect. Perfectly timed to everything. Is that good? Uh, cool product. Very cool. Uh, do you, the installers have to be certified through Free Power uh, to install the product in our clients' homes or in commercial spaces or anything? Like that? Yeah, it's a really good question. So uh, you do need to have a certified fabricator. Uh, there's a bit of a process. So we have really comprehensive training. Uh, we have a, a really comprehensive resources portal. We do uh, different trainings uh, regularly, so fabricators can join and learn. And once they're certified, they can install it for you. I have a follow-up. I think your booth is going to be very popular because I could use it right now, which is yeah. in this table right here. Um, five minutes maximum on charging. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad there's a limit because I think it's going to be, it'll be a line. Um, do you have to specify Android or Apple products? Does it handle both? And can you charge right through the case or does it have to be one of those special charging cases? Yeah, no, so we actually operate on a thing called the G standard. So G is a global standard, it works with Apple, Samsung, Google right out of the box, and it works with the majority of cases. Love it. That's that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. That was incredible. Thank you. May we please have Mr. Jack Poole to the stage, founder and CEO of Fordo. Thank you. My name is Jacques Kulda, the founder of Fordo in Montreal, Canada. Actually, my English is not so good, so I hope you will understand. You know, not too many people know Fordo, so I will take a moment before we talk about the product introduce you for now. This company started seven years ago with one induction cooktop. Today we have over 275 models. On the next three years we plan to bring this to a thousand model to become the largest selection of appliances on the whole industry. We have comparable product with any brand, any selection under one umbrella for now. The idea is based on one thing, the price. I designed this company to offer product luxury that you cannot afford normally. As an example, we have a 48 inch pro style gas range below $3,000 for the market. We're really the lowest. You can see all the product at the booth. You can see all the price. It's all based on the price. Our idea is to lower the cost of living and get the people have access to those products. The other thing coming to your mind is the quality. It's very simple. Go to the booth, see the product, touch it, you will see we don't cut corner. We have a super team, we're controlling the quality as perfection. We offer two year full warranty, quite and label. It's the best product, the best value of the industry. The reason why I'm here today is because about 100,000 people get every year at the hospital intoxicated by carbon monoxide. And this is a concern. You know, sometimes the people, they just move something on the oven, put pay, aluminum paper, break this, you don't smell, you can get dangerous hurt. 400 people died last year because of this. So, at full know, I'm very proud to introduce you today the safety jack. I designed this myself. It's a safety device that will be installed on all the FOMO units, hopefully before the end of the year, all the units will have it. This safety device, and it's free of charge. 
stop extra cost. We include it. This safety device will alert when it's gas leaking or carbon monoxide detected. It will noise and automatically shut down the gas on the unit. It will become full known the best and more safety product of the whole industry. So, you know, this is very important. As you know, there's a huge recall last year. So we don't want this to happen to other. That's why we created this product. I hope it's good. And if I don't win, maybe I, there's a passion to have this. <laughs> Does, do we have any questions for Jack? Yeah, I think this is so smart and something that's you know needed. Do you have plans to um, integrate it all with like apps? I know so many people like to check their appliances, like the refrigerator, this, and the door is left open there. It seems like a natural extension for this kind of product. Is there any plans to add the tech aspect to it too? So you're getting the notification in real life with the noise, but also maybe on your phone or on your computer or tablet? There's a few other generations that's coming, but uh, if we share too much, we're going to have to kidnap you. <laughs> well, you can take me to, <laughs> to Montreal. That sounds good. No problem. <laughs> we have the best food. Bagels, I hear, but I'm a New York girl, so I don't know. Uh, thank you so much. And you know what? Don't worry about, uh, about your asset. You can find. Yeah. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> We share that, we share that. Yeah, I'm afraid people don't understand what I mean. <laughs> no, it's not me, don't be at all. Um, well, first of all, great congratulations on this. Uh, I have a question. Uh, since this is in Canada, um, the product is already U.S. allowed, so, so we can... It's all full CSE approved and CUL, based on U.S. standard. <clears throat> so we just hope we can push to get the industry change, the, not the standard, but we'll be getting it on the building to add that. We have another version to come in that we can sell separately, they can put on other appliances, just buy separately. We didn't make this expensive. This will be maybe, it's free of charge on our unit. It will be maybe $99 retail. The only thing we want to make sure, is we'll, I will try to make money with that. I just want to save life. It's a big thing. There's another way to make money. There's another chance. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Thank you Jack. Guess what, y'all? That's a wrap. That's all 10 brands. Let's give a round of applause. Okay, judges, it's your turn. We're going to give you a few minutes to deliberate, tally your scores, and don't mind me for the next few minutes. I'm going to talk to our audience. While the judges are making their decisions, I'd like everyone to take out their phones, please. Raise your hand, you ready? This is how we're going to go for the second annual Design Bites Eagles Pick Awards. There are no rules. Vote for whatever presentation you like the best. Did you love the product? Yes. Vote. Did you love the presentation? Yes. Vote. Are you excited about specifying it? You should vote yes. Everything you need is on the screen. And I am going to read this carefully so you know exactly what to do. You're going to punch in 877-822-1770 to a new text window right now on your phone. Once the number is entered, you're going to type the word PICK. Now you're going to get a message that says, Message and Data Rights of Great Supply. And then another text that lists the 10 brands. Once you know who you're voting for, choose the letter beside the brand name and text that back. There, just like that, you voted. Everybody getting it? I can't tell. Okay. <laughs> so while everything is getting tallied, let me welcome the person who is going to help me get out today big awards. Brian Hagel, Executive Vice President of Emerald, the show's producer. Brian, please join me up on stage. Hi. How are you, sir? I did. I was getting mad at the I can't help it. I, I, I just do what I'm told. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. So how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Um, 
tell me, tell us what exactly the EDP of your do at uh, I try to stay out of my staff's way. Um, back in the old days, I used to run around like a chick with no head and tell people to do a lot of things. Now I work with people like Leanne uh, with, with our VR company, so uh, it keeps me busy. Um, but yeah, yeah, we got, we got a wonderful team. It takes uh, a village to put on something like this. Did you have a chance to see Brian? Pardon? Did you have a chance? Oh, I did. Absolutely. I, I really am interested to see if props and bribes are, are, are going to work today. Brownies. Uh, yeah, the brownies was a, was a solid <laughs> idea. I'm not, not going to lie. I think that was the first time we allowed props, too. So it's going to be interesting. I didn't get one of those brownies, but I think I got a couple favorites anyway. I like the, I like the story. If this video going to be from this workshop, I think I need that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I can tell you, I can use everything that I showed today. It's, it's, it's amazing. How these brands continue to bring such great innovations, um, I think all are very deserving. So I'm, I, I, I'm just glad I'm not at that end of the, uh, the stage. So thank you. Thank you. I'm curious to know if you have any cool stats to share with us about how the show is going this year. Well, uh, since it is Happy Cavus Day, uh, we're, we're, we're seeing this is the third biggest show we've ever produced. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we have over 470,000 square feet of exhibit space. Uh, we have uh, over 600 brands. You know, if anyone hasn't uh, been over to Global Connect, if, if you're going through that discovery process, please go visit some of the, uh, the international brands that are, are making an appearance here. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Uh, but I will tell you, you know, the show just opened today, my feet are already killing so but we've had you cooped up here. What, what are you going to do when when, uh, when we're done with you up here? I'm going to explore tomorrow. Okay. Uh, my other duties start tomorrow. I'll get the design council. But tonight I'm going to see as much as I possibly can. Okay. I want to see that international um, show that you just referenced. Those vendors. I want to meet vendors. Absolutely. So Global Connect is spread between here in South Hall and over in North Hall. Right. Right. So you know, I, I, I did a little bit of research right before okay. before we, we got up here. And I didn't realize. So you're based in Atlanta. Uh, so Atlanta, I live in Alpharetta. Oh, no way! Yeah, yeah. And so it's, uh, you know, it's really great to see a town like that just emerge. It's got so much energy, so much vibrance. So from a designer perspective, I mean, what, what, what gets you excited when, when you're doing jobs in Atlanta or God knows where? Um, you know what? I get excited about people who get excited about design. And I think that all of us can probably agree that we come to shows like this in order to get recharged, to get re-energized, and bring that knowledge back to our clients. The idea of being able to integrate chargers in the kitchen or even that cutting board, which I believe I need, um, and just, I mean, it's so, so cool. It's, it seems like there's never, it's like an endless supply of ideas that came in. That's what's most exciting about this show, and that's why I came back for my first visit last year. Well, we're excited to have it, uh, but you know, when, when we do the uh, post-event survey research, that discovery process right. is always the top of the list of why people continue. Yeah. Uh, and and it's, you know, there's a lot to discover here, there's no doubt. Yeah, I, I was told to watch for my friend Brett, who might have an envelope waiting at me. Is it time yet? Not great, Brett? Well, it's, it's, it's good that uh, I have a face for radio, so I'll keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah that, that, that's the person I work for. When you get to use. So, but no, you know, I think uh, you know we've got a busy day today. Uh, see, Mario got State of the Industry, State of the Association. So NKDA has put a ton of investment into really incredible research. Uh, you know, we've got the bat coming up. There's all sorts of things to do. So uh, this is the people's fifth. So by people, that means. You. Who, who was able to uh, to go ahead and use our title when I was going to I hope I could have been embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm curious to know who you guys pick. I'm curious if we agree or not. Okay, so the People's Pick Award goes to Free Power. So congratulations. Come on out and join us. I thought that might be a crowd favorite. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Here he is. So, uh, no drinking on the job. Got to wait until after 5 o'clock before you get done. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. We 
picture, okay? I mean, how old are you? Oh.